Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I have a kind of special unboxing, at least for me. This is um, my RoboCat 270, um, and it is a, a kit that GearBest sent me to review. I saw it on their site, and then they offered to review it, um, to send it to me to review, and it's pretty cool because it's a carbon fiber frame for a quad. Um, you have to build it, everything you have to build. I'm going to do a build video, hopefully I'll try and do that for you guys. And it's 270, and it comes with all the electronics except for your receiver, battery, and radio. So let's get into this here. They sent it to me with DHL and it just got here like three minutes ago actually. Super excited to get into this. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't really look like there's a specific box for it. It's kind of just everything's all taped in this box. So I guess I'll do the thumbnail right there. But, um, yeah, everything's kind of just uh, taped around it or in its own separate bag. So, not the greatest presentation, but hey, this thing is cheap. Like a $90 for the entire set. So, let me get everything out. Okay. That. And that should be the frame. So we'll start with the frame first. Okay, here we have the top, uh, the plastic canopy pieces. As you can see here, they're plastic. Um, they're kind of thin. I think they might break if you crash it, but they're pretty flexible. That's the front cover, and then you have these two side covers. You can see they did send me the yellow version. And everything else is in this bag here. So, this bag, cut up there. Probably going to be a long unboxing, but that's okay. I want to go into detail about this because I was really excited about it. So, looks like we have foam here. I'm not exactly sure what these foam things are, but I guess I'll find out. Um, looks like we have some metal bars with some pretty long screws. Don't know what those are for. Then we have a ton of screws to put the frame together. Looks like uh, ni uh, black nylon spacers, probably for the power distribution board and the CCD3D flight controller. Have some more screws a little bit longer. And then we have uh, more standoffs, so we have some red and black standoffs here, so that's pretty neat, pretty standard. So we have another bag here. Pick it out. This is the actual carbon of the frame. You can see we have the uh, side pieces that go like that, and I think the bottom piece here, and some other pieces. More complicated than a ZMR250, I'd say. And looking at the side. Um, it does look like it is real carbon fiber all the way through. I don't think it is a, a um, nylon composite. It may not be pure carbon, but um, the fit and finish, the twill of it looks pretty nice. I don't see any burring at all on all the holes. Everything looks, the cut looks pretty good. Look at this piece. Um, yeah, everything looks pretty good. I don't see... You can see there's no burrs in all, any of the cuts, so that's pretty nice. Um, and it looks, I believe this is one and a half millimeter carbon for all these pieces for the main frame, 1.5 millimeter. And you get this out, and it is making my hands a little bit dirty. So you might want to wash your hands afterwards because you don't want the carbon dust on you, really. So let's open this. There we go. Looks like we have couple more pieces. Don't really know what these are too much. I think it has something to do with mounting the camera. Lots of pieces of this frame and there's no instruction manual so I'm gonna have to look online. Let's take a look at one of the arms. They are all the same so they have this kind of weird three screw mounting design but once again no burring. And on the sides you can see it sure does look like full carbon all the way through. Not the nicest but it looks pretty good, and now these are three millimeter thick. I'm pretty, they're either three or four, but either way, they're very um, thick and strong, so it should be good. And they have, looks like what should be some good motor protection along the edge with a big base there. 
a little bit thin right along here, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. So let's move the frame out of the way and see what this bag has. Okay. Looks like we have a bunch of cables here. And then going to this, so this is a, a breakout cable for the CC3D. Looks like we have a sort of camera mount. Can we say that there are rubber grommets in there? Looks like maybe for a Mobius or something, a camera platform. And here we have a, uh, I think this is double-sided sticky tape foam. It's kind of, I don't know, it's weird, but I think that's double-sided sticky tape. Looks like we, it also comes with an antenna holder. That's nice. Uh, yellow to match the frame, a yellow antenna holder that should hold the antennas of your receiver at 90 degrees, which is really nice. That's that's a cool addition. And it looks like we do have a manual, but this is just for the CC3D um, controller, and it's just a one-page thing, so not that helpful. I've never used a CC3D before, though, so it's going to be interesting. Here we have the flight controller. I much prefer Naze's, Naze 32. Actually, I've only ever had one Naze 32. It's the only hobby-grade flight controller I had, but just, I don't know. It's just, it was so nice that these... Other ones don't seem that good to me, but you know, I'll give it a try because it comes with the kit. Got a couple ports here, micro USB, all your connectors already pre soldered. Another port down there, and two more on that side. So, looks, you know, okay, and it should mount, uh, it should mount with those posts. And my hands are dirty here from the carbon. So, let's take a look at these props that it comes with. It only comes with four props, and they are 50 30s. And to be running 5030s on the motors that comes with this, uh, I don't, I don't think that really does it justice. So I'm going to put my own props on there. Probably uh, DAL 5045 Bullnose version twos. So we have two pieces of heat shrink in this bag, uh, red and black for your battery connector. We have a power distribution board, and I don't know how many amps this is rated to, but since it comes in the kit, I'm going to assume that it should be good for. Um, it should be good for that, so I think it goes, you can go all the way up to an octo, because it has four on each side and your battery goes here. And then you have two pieces of silicone wire, 16 gauge, maybe a little bit small, but you know, not too bad. Um, and they already, already are pre-tinned on each end. And then you have a Dean's connector here. Uh, these things, no one really uses these, at least anyone who's not current in the RC world, so I'll be putting an XT60 on there. And just getting rid of that. I guess save it. And now for ESCs, comes with the ESCs as well. I'll open one of them. So let's open this one. Okay, it looks like they are Simon's uh, Simon ESCs, Simon K, uh, twelve Emac or Emax, twelve amp Simon K ESCs. As you can see there, it says they do. 1 to 3S batteries, so you can't run 4S on this, but I was going to run 3S anyways. And they have black heat shrink across them with your three motor wires, not colored, but that's okay. Then out this end, you have your servo connector, which it does have a beck in it. As you can see, all three wires are there, so it's nice. And then you have um, your two main power wires there. Um, 12 amp ESCs, they should be... Eh. I mean, I'd probably, since these are 2204 motors, probably want something a little larger, but that's what it came with, so that's what I'm going to use. Then we have some kind of, uh, looks like, in not instruction manual, but well, sort of just um, power charts and how to do things with the ESCs, I guess. And they also sent me, now it came with four of those, so you get four ESCs there. Set those there, and then you also have. They sent me this one. Uh, it's just another one. I don't know if this comes with it or it's just because they sent it to me to review. They sent this extra, but it's another 12 amp ESC, but it's not Emacs branded. And now, lastly, we have our motors. So let me see. And these do come with it. So let's see what we have. Nice little boxes for each of them. That's pretty nice. And they are Mars powered. 2204 motors. So let's get this out. And here we have our motor. And now I must say, these look pretty cool 
compared to my DYS BE 1806 motors. Um, those, get the light out of there so you can see it, uh, Mars Power 2204, 2300 kV. And I'm pretty sure they do have self-tightening. Yeah, because this one spins the wrong way to come off. So they are clockwise and counterclockwise um, threaded shafts. And it spins really nice. I don't hear... I don't hear any noise from the bearings, so it seems really smooth. And I really like how thin it is compared to my 1806 motor. You can see, it looks like there might even be a 4mm shaft. I'm not sure. It looks pretty thick to me. It's probably 3mm, though. Um, but let's take a look at the windings. Let's see if the light... You can see the, the windings are actually pretty nice. Um, they're not the best. They're over on this one. There's a little bit of overlap, but... They look really nice from what I can see um, for this cheap of a motor, this cheap of a set. They should be awesome. So I'm not going to open the other ones just because, you know, there's, they're all the same. Um, but there we go. That was my unboxing of the RoboCat 270 um, kit from GearBest. Like I said, lots of parts here. I'm going to try and do a full build video for you. It's probably going to be really long. Um, but there we go. That was my unboxing. Stay tuned for the build, main flight, and review coming soon. And just uh, one thing quick, I'll be using my Turnigy Nanotech 1300 mAh 45-90C Batteries 3S, my XC60, and for my receiver, a FreeSky D4R2, and for my radio, a uh, FreeSky Tyrannus X9D+, Plus, which should be here any day. So that's what you need, besides this kit, you need your battery, receiver, and uh, your radio. Um, so there we go. It's my unboxing. Please subscribe if you weren't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.